Hi, I'm Alberto Lombardi and today we will take a look at one of the most underrated secrets of guitar improvisation, rhythm. I'll show you how important it is and give you a few tips and exercises to improve it. Stick around. solo is like a good song. A good song has a great melody. A great melody has some good rhythm in it. By the way, please check out albertolombardi.com for more lessons. Also, if you don't want to miss my future videos, subscribe and activate notifications with a little bell. Okay, think about these three rhythms and guess what the songs are. Da 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 two da 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 three da 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 Can you guess what these melodies are? Write in the comments. See if you can get all three right. I leave the answer at the end of the video, but go, guess. I'll play a little while you do it. If you were able to catch those songs just by the rhythm, it's because rhythm shapes a musical sentence sometimes as much as the notes themselves. We spend so much time on scales, we study rhythm guitar, chords and harmony, but unlike drummers we seldom focus on the rhythmical aspect of improvisation. We should not underestimate it when playing a solo, either we write it down or we improvise. Let me give you an example. This is bland rhythmically. While that's good for some spots in the solo, you need rhythm to create an interesting melodic line like this. important and makes you more musical because it forces you to think and feel what you play. Muscle memory is not really a big help in this case, or at least not the one that you usually develop. There is a specific muscle memory for this too. But how do you create that and train this very important skill? Let me give you some tips and some exercises. learn to listen to it in music, not only in guitar solos but in melodies. Drum fills are great sources of inspiration, band unisons, guitar riffs, let me show you. Second, Use rests. An old saying goes, it's not what he plays, it's what he doesn't play. This is so important, no musical sentence is complete unless you end it. Try to chop your lines, end them, rest for one and two beats and then start again. <laughs> This was a musical sentence, a complete musical line, because it was chopped. Third, you can try to limit yourself to one note, improvise with just one note and see how many rhythm patterns you can come up with, like this. My last 
last tip would be to use very long notes. People always overlook the sound of a long sustained note, like this. Especially with a little vibrato and a good tone. All right, let me tell you what the three songs were. Did you guess them and write them in the comments? You're still in time. By the way, thank you for watching. If you don't want to miss my future videos, remember to subscribe and activate notifications with the little bell. Also, check out albertolombardi.com for more instructional material. And the songs were Jingle Bells, Yesterday, My Favorite Things. Until the next time, Alberto Lombardi, ciao!